mates, come back down to Paynton again today mate, back in Paynton, uh, a bit windy if you can hear me alright, but well mate, gonna go and watch the air show for a bit mate, it's been a bit of a shitty day with the weather though, but gonna get myself some chippies and then I'm gonna go and have a, a good old watch mate, uh, meet my mate of mine down here as well, so that's uh, pretty cool mate, and we're just gonna go and watch the air show for a bit, but it'll be a pretty interesting one this, Scores of people here, mate. Look at that. Wow, he's speaking of old friends. Oh, Douglas is over here as well. I'm going to say hello to him. He's there. Hey, it's Douglas. Douglas! Okay. <laughs> he loves me, mate. Honestly, mate. He absolutely adores me. Does he, hell, mate? Um, let me see. Right, I've got to find my mate. They've already got the planes in the sky, mate. Already in the sky, but a couple of them missing one so far. But I've got to find where the uh, the freak out is. I think it's just over there. And the Iron Parachute Association is a civilian organisation, charity organisation, based out of Netherhaven. And if you're really interested in seeing what the guys are doing now, you can also go to Netherhaven, Wiltshire, and you can also learn to skydive with them. Whether you're military or civilian, uh, they do take anybody. And if you're really interested in doing a jump as a team, do look us up on social media and you can do a tandem skydive with one of our in football will form flying the UK flag. Uh, you know, you've got to call Matthew Potter right behind the army flag just coming in to land. Yeah. Can I get a stick? Uh, you uh, got a stick for his legs? Stick with a special ball. Yeah. Like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. 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 Well, happy, mate. So it's getting good down here, mate. You've got a sticker. Got a special sticker for the policeman, mate. So I was uh, with the PTSO. So I was well happy with that, mate. But we've got the red arrows coming down in a bit, mate. They go, meow, and they fly around, mate. And, you know, they look all red, white, and blue, mate. So we're going to look at that as well, mate. But quite a busy down here, to be fair, mate. There's uh, quite a few people here as well, mate. You know, it's... Uh, I think it's called a spa, whatever it's called, because it's like three times the price down there, mate, with all the rides, everything like that, mate. We're like, uh, we pay the tourists, mate, and uh, you know what I mean? Well, we pay because, like, well, I'm not actually tourists, but tour they love tourists will pay a lot more because they don't know the area, mate. So, I'm gonna go and get myself uh, um, something in the spa shop, mate, just save a bit of money. But it's getting a good day down here, mate. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting, mate, it's interesting. Well, the um, weather's a little bit bad down here today, mate, so I don't think I'm going to stay and watch all of it, mate. I'm uh, going to head back soon, mate. Uh, other than that, it's just waiting it out, really, you know. It's, my mate's coming down, well, my mate's coming down to catch up with us in a minute, so he's walking down, mate. I've got a bit of a jump on him, mate, and got ahead, mate. If you're watching this, mate, you're, 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 you're the last one, mate. You're, you're behind, mate. So... Yeah, mate, I can't believe those coppers even giving me a special sticker, mate, and they thought I was important because they thought I was like a big kid, mate. That was so nice of them, though, mate. This nice copper, actually. It was the guy who was. I didn't speak much to the woman. So, just going to Lidl's next, mate. 